Welcome to the extremely powerful and extremely widely used isMember function. We're going to go through several examples over the course of this video. The isMember function tells you if the member currently being calculated is one of the members that you specify. Now in most cases, people will say isMember and then a specific member name, but there are actually three flavors of isMember. You can specify a member, you can specify a range, or you can specify a list of members. So in our case, if the member being calculated is either the member name, the range list, or the member list being specified, we're going to return a true, which is a 1, or a false, which is a 0. The most commonly used syntax for isMember is isMember and then a specific member name. What people don't realize, though, is that you can also use a member combination. So you can say is member actual cross dim may, and only if you're calculating those two members at the same time will it return true. You can also do a function that returns a single member like an at parent or an at child. So let's say we want to determine if we're calculating the great state of Texas. We could say at is member Texas. Or if we wanted to return true if we're calculating Texas sales and only the combination for Texas sales, you could say at is member Texas and then cross dim sales. There's another way we can use is member where we can specify a range of members. Now you can either hard code that range or you can use a member set or a range function that returns a range of members. So if I wanted to hard code it, I could say is member Jen colon June, and that will return true if the member I was calculating was January, February, March, April, May, or June. Or I could use a function that returns a range or a list of members. Like in my case, I'm going to say is member parentheses at descendants parentheses east parentheses parentheses. Now I did this just to show you that you could do it. In this last case, I probably wouldn't. I probably just use the isdesc function. The most powerful form of this function is to list a series of members or ranges or functions that return members or member combinations. Basically, anything member related that you possibly want to check for, including members from different dimensions, you can use using this format of the isMember function. So let's say I wanted true to come back if I'm calculating January, February, March, April, May, June, or randomly the month of December. I could say at is member, gen colon June, comma December. Or let's say I wanted to check two specific member combinations, Jan crossed him sales, crossed him actuals, or Feb crossed him miscellaneous, crossed him budget. In either of those cases, it would return true. I could even check members from different dimensions, and I could say is member gen, comma sales, comma actual. Now be very careful. You might think that this will return true only when it's January and sales and actual, but it won't. It's January regardless of account or scenario, or sales regardless of month or scenario, or the actual scenario regardless of month or account. If I wanted to check a member in a range, I could say is member January colon June, sales equals 123, otherwise sales equals 500 for all those other months of the year. Now that top example on is member gen comma sales comma actual, a lot of people would write that as at is member gen parenthesis or at is member parenthesis sales parenthesis or at is member parenthesis actual parenthesis. This is a much more efficient form of that is member function. All right. <laughs>